Oh yeah. Actually, I th think that's a P-mouth. Yeah. It's got the uh, coloration on it. Nice. Species 148. This one's a little small. Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right, cool. I think I'm gonna do a catch and cook with these guys. A bit small. Okay, so today I'm going to be making some fish burgers with the pea mouth that I caught. It's a pretty easy recipe, but you're supposed to use a meat grinder, which I don't have. So I'm going to just try using a food processor. The first thing we need to do is fillet the fish. First I'm going to gut them. That's why I like doing it on my counter, so you can just wipe all the guts and the crap in the sink. Super easy. I'll just spray it down. No one can even tell that I just filleted a bunch of fish. So here's the fillets. Looks like some nice white meat. I'm not sure if they have any bones in them. I don't feel any right here. Like Y bones or anything. But this should make a nice hamburger. I'm thinking that's a good size portion. Basically, I'm gonna cut them into small pieces, put it in the freezer, then throw it in the food processor. So hopefully I don't end up with a mush. So there we go, I've chopped it up. Now I'm just gonna throw that in the freezer for about 15, 20 minutes until they get a little hard but not quite frozen. Okay, it's not too bad, not quite mush, but looks kinda like hamburger. Now I'm just gonna mix it all together 
I'm gonna keep it simple and just have salt and pepper, throw in some egg and breadcrumbs. I'm gonna make an Old Bay uh, mayonnaise to go on the burger, so that'll give some flavor. Just winging this. Hopefully it turns out okay. Okay, there we go. It's a nice patty, and I'm gonna throw that in the fridge until my pan heats up to start frying this. All right, got a tablespoon of lemon juice as well. Oops. And the star of the show, some Old Bay seasoning. Gonna put about a teaspoon of that in there. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Good. Alright. There we go. That old bay is really subtle, so I'm gonna throw some more on here. But that's really good. I was expecting some bones, but I'm not sure if these even have bones in them. But even if there was bones, with how small I grinded it, they shouldn't be a problem just chewing through them. But the peamelt, they have really nice white fillets and the meat's really clean tasting. There's no fishy taste, even though I left those bloodlines in there. Um, yeah, no complaints here. Throw on extra sauce for the last bite. So that was really good. Um, I think I'd try that with pretty much any fish. It's a pretty good recipe. Any white fish. Might work for salmon too, who knows. Um, but yeah, give the recipe a try. Pea mouth doesn't taste bad at all. Um, if you got a bunch, might as well keep them. But yeah, till the next one.